Workforce Solutions for Tarrant County presents Research on Effective Practices, Understanding the Intent and Scope of WIOA. In his 2014 State of the Union Address and a subsequent presidential memorandum, President Obama directed Vice President Biden to lead a review of federal programs to ensure they are designed to equip workers with skills matching the needs of employers. To begin this process, the Departments of Labor, Commerce, Education, and Health and Human Services jointly produced a summary of proven effective practices called what Works in Job Training, a Synthesis of the Evidence. Based on this evidence, the Vice President developed an action plan called Ready to Work, Job-Driven Training and Opportunity. It's commonly known as the Biden Report. The new Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, signed by the President on July 22, 2014, mirrors the concepts presented in this report as a job-driven checklist. The checklist includes engaging employers, work upfront with employers to determine local hiring needs and design training programs that are responsive to those needs from which employers will hire. Earn and learn, offer work-based learning opportunities with employers, on-the-job training, internships, pre-apprenticeships, and registered apprenticeships as training paths to employment. Smart choices. Make better use of data to drive accountability, inform what programs are offered and what is taught, and offer user-friendly information for job seekers to choose programs and pathways that work for them. Measuring matters. Measure and evaluate employment and earnings outcomes. Stepping stones. Promote a seamless progression from one educational stepping stone to another and across work-based training and education so individuals' efforts result in progress. Opening doors. Break down barriers to accessing job-driven training and hiring for any American who is willing to work, including access to supportive services and relevant guidance. Regional partnerships. Coordinate American job centers, local employers, education and training providers, economic development agencies, and other public and private entities to make the most of limited resources. Our panel today will be sharing with you examples of how we have put these concepts into practice at both the state and local levels.